Hi everyone, Heather Leopards here, and I'm excited to walk you through this traveler's notebook that I've been working on. I use the Ellie's Studio Let's Go Traveler's Notebook Kit, as well as the July and August monthly kits and add-ons. This video is actually a combination of a flip through as well as a process video for all of these pages that you see here. So let's go ahead and jump right in. For the cover, I used one of the papers that was included in the Let's Go Traveler's Notebook kit and I just adhered that to the cover. And then I wanted to stamp on this um, tag that you see here. So I used the Stanley Alphabet stamp set and added in that Viva. And to get that festive Viva look, I first started out by using the um, stamp set that looks like an outline. And then I filled it in with the solid alphabet in the different colors. To fill out the card, I went ahead and added a Pack Your Bags banner, which is super cute. And then I added Las Vegas using these blue alphabet stickers. I also added in some labels, which I pulled from these um, die cuts and sticker sheets, as well as some wood veneer and um, gold puffy stickers in both hearts and stars. I was going for all these bold colors and the glitz and glam because this was all about Vegas and that to me personifies Vegas. Okay, so for the inside of the cover, there's this really great paper um, in the LE Studio Let's Go kit and it says favorite stops. So I used the Hazel Alphabet stamp and I just stamped all of the kind of highlights of the trip and everything that we did. And then I created a collage for the photo on my phone. The background for this page is using a paper from the Let's Go kit that says, Oh, the places we go. And now I'm going to stamp this here and now on a white piece of cardstock. So I've stamped that. And then I want to fill it in in the top because I just felt that it looked a little naked and it needed some color. So I wanted to add in some of the yellowish gold. So what I did was I just flipped over as another circle from that same stamp set and um, used the back side of it and it filled it in perfectly. Then I added a label, that red one that you see down at the bottom. And then this sticker sheet that's also in the Let's Go kit has some really great sentiment. So I just added that one there and then this one on the front cover as well. All right, so for this next page, this was actually really fun. I took um, a 12 by 12 sheet of yellow paper that you see on the right side, and then a piece of paper from the Let's Go kit, and I lined it up and cut it so that that um, yellow looked like it was just going on to um, continuing from one page to the other, even though it was from completely different um, papers. And so then on the right side, I chose to make a pocket. But you can see here, um, I've got some photos tucked in there. I've got a photo on the top of it as well, but I'll just show you real quick. Um, and to create this pocket, I just added some liquid adhesive around the edges. And then of course not on the diagonal top there. And once that dried, then it was a nice uh, pocket. And I just used a really thin line so that I could easily fit pictures in and out. And then on this left side of the page, I just had a lot to say, a lot of short words to say to describe this show. So I added in a bunch of labels and some die cuts and the um, um wow sentiment because that's a reflection of how this show went. Um, favorite show I've ever seen in Vegas, but you definitely need to be prepared for um, the unpre <laughs> unpredictable to say the least. Okay, so now I'm going to walk you through two more spreads that I created. This one is about our trip to the Welcome to Las Vegas sign. So I've been going to Vegas for probably 15 or 20 years, and I have never spotted an Elvis. So imagine my excitement when we are standing there at the Welcome to Las Vegas sign and we find an Elvis. Okay, so to walk you through how I created this page, I used a couple of pieces of paper from the 6x6 Noteworthy kit and I just trimmed those down. One of them has a bunch of great words on it like always have fun here and now or right here right now. Today was the best. 
so many different sentiments on there so I wanted to make sure to include that I also liked that it also had these kind of rainbow colors in it and since that came from a 6x6 page, it wasn't going to fill the page, so I used this rainbow striped paper and added that to the top of the page right there. So you can see the rainbow kind of moving up on the page, and then I just had to trim it up, which was easy peasy with my scissors. You could also use your paper trimmer if you are worried about maybe not cutting it evenly. So there we go. And then I decided that I was going to plop that Elvis impersonator photo right there. Um, and I was originally going to use a smaller photo of us, but I just, I think this sign kind of says everything that needs to be said about, you know, getting to Vegas and um, the glitz, like I said, and the glamour, and you've got that sign. So I decided to supersize it and added that to the page. I used liquid adhesive. Um, because it was a, a larger photo, um, I knew that I wanted to make sure it stuck really, really super good and wasn't going to budge. So once I've got that down, I, I went ahead and folded the book together to make sure that it was going to fold up nice and, um, you know, not pop open. Okay, so now it's time to add some embellishments. So I took some of the labels from these die cuts. Uh, some of these came from the Let's Go kit, some of them came from the July, and some from the August kit. Um, but that's they've got that cute little Let's Go banner, which I popped up using some foam dots right there. And then I added this kind of orangish red flower, which kind of reminded me of that starburst that you see in the left photo. And then that nice sentiment that right there, living in the moment. I used these purple puffy stickers to highlight the fact that I finally met Elvis and um, I did not have an exclamation point so I used the insides of some of the letters as like the long part of the exclamation point and then you can see in like the B there are some kind of shorter little puffy dots so I use that as the period for the exclamation point. So to fill in the kind of open gaps that were there on that tag next to the Elvis, I added this circular wood veneer that says we are here. And then I moved down the page and added this blue label, also from the die cut set in that purple heart. And then I moved back up to the page. I used these puffy dots and the puffy heart. And that completes that page. So now let me show you my second spread. So this one is actually about our favorite meal that we had while in Vegas. It was at Hell's Kitchen right after the show, right after the absinthe show, which you saw that spread on earlier. So it was inspired by this grid design paper. This one actually has a piece cut out of it because I was using it over here on this side of the page to bring in um, some of the look from the right side over to the left side but it was inspired by that grid design because it kind of reminds me of a uh, order taking form so I use that for that page as the background and then for this side over here sorry about my hat um, I created layers so I've got that kind of pink and reddish layer and then that green grid from that right side and then a polka dot so I adhered all the layers together and then I did a tiny strip of liquid adhesive and just adhered the pink paper down so that I would have a nice area where I could tuck that photo in there. I left enough room at the top to use this stamp set called Right Now and I liked where it said the story of. So I just stamped that image right there at the top. And then I came back with the Stanley outline and the Stanley solid stamps and put in HK for Hell's Kitchen. Um, and I use some Distress Oxide inks in, let's see, what is this? Candied Apple and Fossilized Amber. So that space down there at the bottom is where I'm going to journal all about this yummy delicious dinner that we had. I also used the foodie puffy stickers. They were so cute and they added just the right touch. Um, some of them say, so excited to try this, favorite meal, 
this was so good, and then that yum down at the bottom. Um, and what I wanted to do on this page was actually add what we ate that night. So um, I included the appetizers and the entrees. I did not include desserts because we were too stuffed and we actually didn't have desserts. But I used these Jane Alphas in white and then some older um, alphabet stickers from Ellie Studio as well. Now to finish off this page, I used this This Was Amazing sticker from the sticker sheet in the Let's Go TN kit as well as this wood veneer with a fork, a knife, and a spoon. So that completes the flip through of what I have so far for my traveler's notebook. I hope you've enjoyed it and stay tuned because I will be creating more pages in this notebook. I still have to do Red Rock, the Grand Canyon, Hoover Dam, and our trip to Fremont Street in downtown Las Vegas. Thanks so much everybody.